ask you one question? Yeah, sure. So I would like to ask you, why did you support this event actually? Because it's, for us, um, Africa is becoming more, from, uh, for us European, Africa is becoming more and more the crucial challenge uh, in terms of security, uh, in terms of economy, and of course energy is a very relevant part of the, of the development. So in the context of the G7, uh, and in the context of the AG7, which will be very much dedicated to energy transition and energy security, the question of how Africa fits into this picture is a crucial question. And therefore, we welcome very much the work that has been done today in order to prepare a declaration that will be delivered uh, in a few minutes, I would say, uh, to the G7. And this will be also the base for the discussion we're going to have tonight and tomorrow. And I think that uh, this is also the right approach to bring at the table of the G7, the big economies, uh, you know, those economies that are in a development phase, sometimes a difficult phase, but with great opportunity, but that are totally interlinked in terms of uh, uh, relation with the, the, the great powers. So it's a good, very, very good way of working together to have this event today and the G7 immediately after. Uh, last question, because yeah. uh, I'm in solar since 14 years. In the past, uh, Italy was the leader in the solar industry. Uh, recently, Italy is a big bit back after other countries. Uh, we have beautiful weather here in Italy, a lot of sun. And when Italy will return to be uh, a leader in the solar industry and clean tech industries? To be, to be honest, we uh, produce almost 40 percent, I'm not saying by solar, but all renewable energy. We have reached the tar European target in advance. We are spending a lot of money in the region of 14 billion per year. And we're going to keep on spending this way for the next uh, 20 years, so, more or less. So, what I would say is that Italy is really cutting edge as far as you know, the effort, the technology, and uh, we will keep maintaining this effort. Of course, we need to take into this consideration the technical evolution, which, which makes the, the technology more efficient. We have to work on the, uh, energy efficiency, which is another side which is becoming more and more important. In one month's time, I will deliver the new national energy strategy, which will take into consideration all the various uh, initiatives we have to take in place in order to deliver on the objectives of the pa Paris Agreement. And the renewable energy will be a big, big part of it. Okay, grazie mille. Thank you.